The Mongols charged across the European plains, with the fatigued Rus army in close pursuit. The Rus had fallen for the Mongol tactic of the feigned retreat, and unknowingly followed them into peril. The Mongol general sprung his trap on the enemy scouts. With the Rus scouts cut down, General Subutai crossed the Kalka River. Here, he would stage a full-scale ambush on the vast Rus army. Subutai directed his warriors to split up and lie in wait for the enemy. For Subutai's strategy to be effective, he needed to spring his trap before the Rus recovered from their long pursuit. He sent his most fearsome Mangadai horse archers to draw the Rus quickly towards the ambush site. These highly skilled warriors could fire their bows rapidly while riding at speed. The Mongol provocation was effective, and the Rus hastily pursued. The Rus army had fallen for the feigned retreat and rode straight into the Mongol ambush. With the enemy surrounded, Subutai's battle-ready warriors descended from all sides.
The Mongol ambush was devastating, and Rus' numbers were reduced to a few desperate stragglers. Seeing the fate of their comrades, the last Rus encircled themselves in a makeshift fort of baggage carts. The Rus stockade fell. Despite a valiant last stand, the remnants of the Rus army were cut down. Spurred on by the crushing victory at the Kalka River, the Mongols advanced ever further into the heartland of the Rus'. 